Romans 9.15-16 For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. Some people hate the idea that people who have committed violent crimes may be able to receive mercy from God and go to heaven if they turn to him in repentance. The thing about mercy is that no one deserves it. Mercy is not something given to the innocent. The innocent have no need for mercy because they haven't done anything wrong in the first place. Dictionary.com defines mercy as 1. Compassionate or kindly forbearance shown toward an offender, an enemy, or other person in one's power. Compassion, pity, or benevolence. Have mercy on the poor sinner. 2. The disposition to be compassionate or forbearing. An adversary wholly without mercy. 3. The discretionary power of a judge to pardon someone or to mitigate punishment, especially to send to prison rather than invoke the death penalty. Mercy forgives the wrongs that have been done. Only the guilty need this kind of mercy, and they certainly cannot earn it or deserve it. There is a second kind of mercy as well. 4. An act of kindness, compassion, or favor. She performed countless small mercies for her friends and neighbors. 5. Something that gives evidence of divine favor, blessing. It was just mercy that we had our seat belts on when it happened. This is the kind that helps people in need. Those in need may not be evil, but they cannot earn this sort of mercy either. If they earned it, then it wouldn't be mercy. It would be payment for their work. So even if the person receiving mercy is a good person, no mercy is ever earned. God chooses to give mercy because it is his nature to do so. Because God is love and love gives mercy. If we are to be followers of God, then we are called to be merciful because He is. Zechariah 7, 9-10 Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment, and show mercy and compassion every man to his brother. And oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor. And let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. Micah 6 8. He hath showed thee, O man, what is good, and what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. Maybe you realize that there is someone in your life who needs you to show mercy to them. Remember, God doesn't make anyone work to earn his mercy. If it's earned, it isn't mercy at all. So forgive from your heart and help without expecting anything in return. Maybe you realize you are the one in need of God's mercy right now. His mercy is limitless. No matter what you have done, God can forgive you. All you have to do is come to Him in repentance. You can do that with a simple little prayer like this. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you rose again the third day. Please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of His will, so you can live out His holiness in your life. If you are interested in understanding the story of Jesus' life better, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites. 
also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May you receive God's mercy.